Hey, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Icewater815, man. Thanks for clicking on this video. For those of you that don't know who I am, I'm a little truck driver, man. Got his own truck and all that hoopla, and I make videos basically geared towards people who are on operators or that got their own truck and man, I'm just gonna say got their own truck. Not really for the company drivers, but every now and then you can find some for the company drivers, but anyway. This video right here is basically a tire video. I just noticed that it really wasn't a lot of information about buying tires and I'm in the process of buying some more tires and I thought it'd be a good opportunity to put something out there that let give people sort of like a guideline on what to look for when buying tires. So hope you enjoy this video. And if you can, like if you know anybody that got their own truck and buying their own parts or doing their own work, man, let them know about the channel, man. Appreciate you. They say never say never. I say never tell me what to do. A person will never put you in a position above them. That's never a lie, always true. Success never comes without risk and risk never comes without fear. YouTube is a smoking mirror, never how it appear. I haven't really seen no video that really tell you, like if you're looking to buy some tires, it's a couple things that I think that you should know when you get ready to buy your tires. So I wanted to put this video out here on YouTube so people will have a a point of reference now i ain't saying that i'm not gonna sit here and try and tell you what's the best tire for you to buy and all that because i really don't know i'm just gonna give you some information and in deciding what tire to buy so basically we're gonna start with this number right here this 14 pr that 14 pr has to do with the ply on the tire and you really want 14 or you want 16 if you can get it. Just depending on how much you're willing to spend or whatever. I prefer Virgin tires over recaps, but some people prefer recaps over Virgin. It's really just a personal preference. You get what you want to get. Another thing you want to pay attention to is the tire size, which is down here. And too bad it's upside down, but we want to live with that. Are 22.5. These are low pro tires. Some people have 24.5 the tall rubbers, but again, 295, 75R, 225. You need to know the tire size. You want to pay attention to how many plies the tire is before you buy it. You want to pay attention to the tread pattern. And it's always best to replace both tires on one side at the same time, preferably the entire axle if you can afford to. And you always want to remember that there's that's furthest away from the truck wear out first so on your truck your third axle is going to wear out before your second axle before your steer axle okay so let's make sure oh and i already talked about the tread pattern but what i want to say is you want to pay attention to the tread depth also the tread depth is important you want to get it as close to the 30 seconds as you can when you look in the buy tires and then one other thing that I think you need to remember when you get ready to buy tires is if you want an open shoulder or a closed shoulder and one one good way to go about like determining if you want open or closed the open shoulder is really like for all terrains just just look at it like that it's like if you go all over if you're dealing with you know snow you're dealing with different temperature variations nine times out of ten you want to go with open closed is more for the regional again it's just a personal preference and the difference really is with the open shoulder it doesn't trap the things inside the tires as much as the closed shoulder do so supposedly you get more traction now i don't know you know what i'm saying that's just what they say but again and i didn't ran different types of tires and i think that i didn't had a lot of luck this tire is called iron head which i just i bought four of these and i'm gonna buy four more i like the way that they ride i like the tread pattern wish they was 16 ply but they only 14 but i could live with that i didn't roll continentals i got continentals right here i didn't rode a lot of different tires and i'm trying to see what ply these 14 ply too I'm trying to see what, what different tires I didn't roll. The Continentals, they weren't too bad, but as you can see, they getting low. So it's time to replace them. So the three things that I think you should know is you got to know the tread pattern. You want to know the tread depth. I said three things, but I guess it's more than three. 
You, you need to know the tread pattern that you want. You need to know the tread depth that you're willing to spend money on. You need to know how many plies the tire is. You need to know if you're gonna get virgins or recaps. And you need to know if you want open or closed shoulder. And then we'll take a look at the steers real quick that I like. The steers. And again, these steers, they're 14 ply also. The numbers on them are 295, 75R, 22.5, same as the drive tires. And I like these Firestone FS 507 pluses. And this kind of what the tread pattern look like on them if you if you can see it's kind of sunny out here and one thing I'm gonna say about the steer tires is spending some money on some steer tires I personally I've been running these for a minute now and I like them I prefer I personally prefer Michelin for the steer tires but Michelin a little rich for my blood right now so we're gonna see what these Firestones do I ain't got no complaints out of them but the one thing I'm gonna say when you get your steer tires is you want to pay attention to the ply also with this because a lot of times the lower ply tires when they sit down they kind of look like they low on air in the front and you'll keep trying to put air in them and they'll already be at 110 I run mine at 110 but the most important thing I think with the steer tires is before you get the steer tires get you an alignment and uh, the whole alignment situation is for another video I'm sure so that's it for my tire video, man. I hope this video helps somebody, man, who out there looking to buy some tires. And oh, uh, you also got to remember that you, if you have your own like tax ID, I'm just going to say if you got your own tax ID number or whatever, you can really get a discount on tires. You know, use your tax ID number to your benefit versus going to the truck stop and all this and all that. It's tire distributors in like every little city. All you got to do is Google that and you can get hooked up with them and get your tires for a pretty good price instead of paying the truck stop an arm and a leg for some tires but just make sure you know what size tires you need how many plies what tread pattern you want what tread depth you looking for if they caps or recaps and what else would i say about it man i don't know yeah 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 watch the video again to get the rest of it hi
Been through a lot of pain in my life, and I pray the Lord take it all away.